If after watching this video to the end and you still don't know how to convert from Revit to SketchUp, then just know that I did not do a very good job in this tutorial video. Hello and welcome back to AkiQuest. My name is Grant and in this channel, we dish out interesting Aki related content. And in today's tutorial video, I'm going to be showing you how to convert from Revit to SketchUp. Imagine turning down an offer or a job offer just because you, could, you don't know how to use SketchUp when you could easily do that job by using whatever software you want to use and just know how to convert from that software to the software that is required of you. And this wouldn't even take you up to four minutes to do all this. Well, lucky you because that is why I am here and I'm going to show you how you can do that with just very easy steps. Now, for us to do that, all we need to do is to make sure that we are in our 3D view. Because if you convert this when you are in your uh, floor plan view, it is going to be the floor plan that you'll be importing in SketchUp. But if you are converting it when you are in the 3D view, it's going to be the 3D that you would import in SketchUp. And I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm going to convert on both of them. So let's come to this 3D view. Let's do the same first thing. So all we need to do is to click on file right here. Just hover around this export. You see this card hover around this card then you see dwg you click on dwg now you click on this three icon right here you click on that to open it you go to solid you leave this as acis if yours is in poly mesh change it to acis then you come to colors you can use whatever you like but i like to use this third one okay so i click on okay click on next and you save it so let me save this uh 3d okay you save it as 3D. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the floor plan so you would see what I mean. All right. So once you are done converting this, now let's also convert the floor plan so you would see what I mean. So let's go back to export, CAD, DWG, this icon, solids, okay, ACIS, then this, okay, next. Now let's save this as floor plan FP, okay. All right, so now we're done with this, we're done with Revit. So we'll just minimize this for now. Then we'll open our SketchUp. I use SketchUp 2023. All right, now if you use the uh, Imperial uh, units to work uh, in wherever your location is, you can select this. But if you use the metric unit, I'm going to select this architectural millimeters. So I'm going to open this. Okay, now, if, uh, now that our SketchUp is open, now let's try importing what we just exported. Now you click on import. Now if you import this one, the FP, and you click on import, now just watch what will happen. You see that it's just the floor plan that you just imported. You can see nothing is there. But if you import, okay, let's delete this. Let's delete this. But if you import the 3D that you exported, that is where everything would come with it. You are going to see the 3D model of uh, whatever you've done in Revit in SketchUp. And you can adjust it, you can edit it, you can do whatever you want to do to it in SketchUp. And that's just one quick way. Instead of modeling in SketchUp, in case you don't know how to model in SketchUp, you can just do that. Now you can see the model in SketchUp. Sorry. Now you can see the model in SketchUp. Now, if you look at this closely, you see that it's a block. It's a block element. I can't, ex I can't edit it yet. All you just have to do is right-click and you click on Explode to explode it. Then you can, you can see you can edit any wall you want. You can do whatever you want to do. You can move this wall. You can see you can, you can just take it out to do whatever you want to do in SketchUp. The normal way one could have done in SketchUp. Now, this is the funny thing about exporting in SketchUp. Now, you can see this. A, a lot of things will be slightly out of place not much not too many things but there are some components that will be slightly out of place like the components here these are sketchup components actually which i downloaded from uh, 3d warehouse so you can just check their website out and you can see a lot of sketchup components there so you can either click this and you just use the move to come to a particular point and you just take it downwards what you get to uh, a view you can see so you can just move this uh, out and tweak it the way you want to get a very good view. Now, if I want to see the inside of uh, this building, now what I'm going to do is to cut a section. I'm going to cut the section now. And where do I cut that section? Now you can see this section icon right here. You just click on it. 
And when if you come to this face and drop it, it's going to cut section from this side. If you come to this place, it's going to cut this way. If you come up, it's going to cut downwards. So I want to cut a section from this point. Now I place it here. I click on OK. Then I click on this select tool, select it, click on move and move it in. Now you can see. So once I come back to my rotate and I rotate this view, now you can see what we have inside. Then we can now carefully adjust this again. Now you can see, we can now carefully adjust it, make sure we come to the edge and we follow the axis line. Then you can see this on face in components, hashtag 24, you place it there. Then you have successfully placed this component on the exact face you want it to be. So you can see. You can see how it looks. So this is how to convert from Revit to SketchUp. So that job that you are getting and they want you to use SketchUp for it, but you don't know how to use it, you can just use whatever software you want to use and just learn how to convert from that software to SketchUp. If this video was in any way helpful to you, please kindly hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to share this video and comment under the video because it helps YouTube algorithm to push our videos forward to get larger audience. And don't forget, Turn on the bell icon so you get notified when next we publish a new video. See you guys on the next one. Bye.